Hi, it's Dr. Angelique Millet, and I wanted to speak with you about the Millet Method, which is my approach to family sleep. Uh, I have been working with families for 22 years, and uh, a little bit of history about how I got started with this work. The first 10 years of working with families, I worked uh, as a postpartum support uh, educator and doula. Uh, and so families would ask me to help at night. They had babies that weren't sleeping, uh, and perhaps their babies were sick, or they had colic or reflux. Uh, they might have had uh, perhaps some health issues at birth or shortly after birth, or perhaps parents had their own health issues. So they would ask me to watch uh, their babies at night, help take care of them at night. I call that my field work because for 10 years I didn't sleep at night. Uh, I uh, learned so much about babies and parents and families. I learned uh, so much about what happens to families when babies don't sleep and when parents don't sleep. And I also got to observe all kinds of sleeping patterns and waking patterns in babies. And I got to see all kinds of, of patterns amongst those babies for say growth spurts or developmental changes. And it got me really thinking about all the different sleep methods and sleep arrangements that we use uh, to help parents get the sleep they need. When I uh, did my PhD research, when I did my doctoral research, I looked at all the different sleep arrangements that parents might choose for their babies. But I also looked at postpartum depression and postpartum anxiety in mothers because I was really interested in how mothers with postpartum depression and anxiety how they might get their sleep needs met and get their baby's needs, sleep needs met as well. Um, I also looked at uh, responsiveness, how a mom with anxiety and depression might respond to her baby at night when her baby woke up. Uh, and it really, in, really increased my understanding uh, with a really strong scientific background uh, uh, in terms of different methods and approaches to use for helping families get the sleep that they need. When I developed the Millet Method, I really uh, wanted to be sure that the method and the approach was rooted in a new paradigm about family sleep. Uh, the old paradigm about children sleeping and family sleeping is that if a child isn't sleeping, the parents failed, the baby or the child has failed, and all a parent has to do is be strong enough to do uh, a method of, say, crying method where they never respond to their baby at night, and then uh, they would get, say, the, the, what we call the magic, the holy grail of 12 hours of sleep at night. And I was, when, I, when I was able to look at the, all the research, I was so surprised to find that there's very little research at all that shows uh, that there is only one method to, to use to achieve really great sleep for babies. And in fact, in the last 10 years, the field has changed so much. There's so much new research showing us that there are many different methods that we can use and many different sleep arrangements that we can use to help babies and parents get the sleep that they need. So the Millet Method is really rooted in science and new research. I do, do a lot of debunking old paradigms, uh, poor research, old, old opinions about sleep, and I, I do a lot of bringing new research to parents. I use a big toolbox of methods. I do not believe that it's only one method that will help a child or family get the sleep that they need, so we use a big toolbox. And we're looking, myself and my team are looking at many different variables when we're, when we're working with families and when we're trying to find the method that's gonna work best for that specific family. We take into consideration the child's temperament and the child's history. We take into consideration the parent's history, uh, specifically around the birth of the child and early postpartum. Uh, we take into consideration the child's developmental age since that's gonna play a part in how they respond to sleep and feed changes. We take into consideration how much support the family has, how sleep deprived they are, uh, their commitments say to work, uh, community support, family support, uh, and then we'll even look at um, whatever ch uh, temperament traits are really important uh, in figuring out the method that's gonna work best for the baby or the toddler. And then we can modify the method based on what we with the method that we think is going to work best for that specific family. So it really allows us to individualize the method for the child and for the family, which is a great way to work when it comes to helping families get the sleep they need. Uh, so the Millette method allows us to work with a range of sleep issues, a range of histories, a range of temperaments, a range of cultures, 
and social norms, which is incredibly exciting for myself and my team. Uh, because obviously when, uh, when we're working with a family, we want to be sure that um, we're getting them to a better place in the work that we're doing with them. If you have more questions about the Millette Method and you want to find out more about the Toolbox Approach to Sleep uh, Solutions, please be sure to reach out to me or my team um, via the uh, website, which is www.angeliquemillette.com. You'll find out more about the Millette Method, and then you can take a look at all the webinars that we offer. Please be sure to attend one of our upcoming classes. Thanks so much for listening in today. Again, my name is Dr. Angelique Millette.